Hi everybody, I'm Dan Yeoman from Air Secrets. I uh, just want to show you today how to put together one of our smithy kits. I've got one kind of a little bit prepped here, a little bit to show you kind of quickly how to do this. Um, if you have any questions, I'm always available. Uh, look for me at my shop, uh, my website, look for me on Instagram or, or Facebook. So anyways, what I started off to do today is I've already pre-dealed the holes on these ones. I have other videos to show you how to drill those holes and then how to put them onto your riser package. So this riser package is already set up. We've got uh, the plate on there, um, riveted and, and ready to go. On the bottom of here, we see if you see there's holes, uh, these are pre-chapped so that you can put your machine screws through the bottom of the skis into the riser bottoms here. So I'm gonna show you a bit of that today. I'm gonna do one or two, and then I'm gonna put it together, and then I'm gonna put the bars on it. I'm gonna set it right up in front of you today, just so you can see everything. There might be some breaks in the video, but uh, as it goes, I'll stand here, and I'm just gonna work away at it. You can watch through. I'm gonna to try to fast forward some of the boring parts, okay? So in, in your uh, package, you have this, uh, have an Allen key. An Allen key will work with that uh, machine screw. These are stainless steel, so they won't rust. So I cheated a little bit. I purchased uh, a, a drill bit that can go into the drill that's that size of the Allen key. It's a, a 530 seconds. Um, if you're interested in doing it that way, it, it makes it a little bit easier. Um, makes it uh, easier when you're working with the skis. So. So I'm gonna pop the screws right inside. And so I wanna make sure that on both the front and back that they're facing the right way. Um, they're not gonna face each other when you put the skis together facing each other. They're actually gonna face outwards is what I intend the purpose of this build. I'll show you later in the video how that actually works. See, I'm just drilling that into the bottom where I have those holes in the risers. They'll go in really nice. I don't want to make sure that those are tight, but I don't want to over tighten them, so I don't want to try to strip the inside of there. So I'm just going to make them nice, good, and tight as what I can feel. This is my son Aiden. He's uh, decided to come say hi. I'm gonna put the same way for this one here too. So I want both, if I can see the plate on this one, I want to see the plate on the back one here. Can you give me one more of these screws of that? This one in here. Yeah. Give me one of those five screws. Yeah, that's This one. Here we go. Actually, the one for me and Aiden, Aiden and I for ice fishing this year. I find that girl skis are the best skis um, just because the bottoms are usually less far up because they're usually less used. Just something to think about when you're purchasing skis online. I like 160. That's a great measurement for the, the ski length. And, and knowing that, um, maybe you might want to get it double tipped so that you can pull both ways. There's a... Uh, a whole bunch of different options with skis. So that'll be your first one already done. Now this one here, as you can see, I faced these out. So this one here, I want to face it the exact opposite way. I want to take these ones and I want to turn them this way and put them on the skis. So I'm going to put those down. And again, I've already pre-drilled these holes on this ski too. And I'm cheating a little bit with my drill bit. And when I'm putting them in, I'm, I'm making sure I go back and forth, back and forth, because it's important to make sure they don't, don't cross thread inside there or, or they all both go in straight. So I'll, I'll drill this side in 
a little bit. Get it going down, and then I'll transfer over to this one. Bring that one down a little more. And slowly work my way with them on. Again, moving back to the next one. All the way down for that side. And this one here feels like it's all the way down. And you always want to check to make sure that that screw isn't pushing to the top. So you want to have a clean, clean ride down through the ice. This one here needed a little bit more and it's pushed a lot. So this one is big here. Okay. Okay, so stay tuned, I'm gonna get this one on. I'm gonna get them set up and then I'm gonna come back and we'll get these bars all ready to go and get them onto the sled. <laughs> 